Hello, Gourmet friend. I hope you are well today. Thank you very much to so many of you who are coming back to my humble channel. It's great also to reach over 100,000 views this year and over 2,000 subscribers. You are legend. Thank you also for your great comment on YouTube. Today, as a special, I will give you all my secrets on how to cook the perfect steak like this one. I will also explain the Maillard reaction for the more adventurous. Why paying for steak $42, $100, up to $350 when you can have the same at home for less than $7? Let's start! To obtain the perfect steak, tender and juicy, try to get porterhouse or scotch fillet. The eye fillet will be the more tender, but also the most expensive, but not necessarily the more tasty. That's why they often served with a nice sauce like the Bernese sauce, pepper sauce or Bordelais sauce. You may find this recipe on my channel. Buying edge meat will give you very good result. When aging, the muscles of the meat relax and become tender, mellow, nice and flavorful. Now some stores sell 21 days aged meat or 100 day grain fade and that's fantastic. Marble meat is also very good because the fat flakes in the intramuscular fibers liquefy during the cooking and make the beef very juicy. Now, what is a Maya reaction? Humans have been cooking with a Maya reaction from ages, but it was not until 1912 that the French chemist Louis Camille Maillard documented the reaction. Basically, he discovered that the reaction occurs when the meat is cooked at high temperature, between 120 to 180. Red meat is rich in amino acid and natural sugar. When the meat is cooked on high heat, it transforms in a brown color and deeply complex flavor. Amino acid plus sugar plus heat results in a golden brown crust and a delicious taste. The Meyer reaction is not just for the look, it also changes in aroma and taste by leveling up the umami experience. Should we salt before or after cooking? Technically, we should not salt just before, as salt draws the humidity out, and if there is too much moisture, you will be steaming, not grilling. What you can do is to salt two hours before cooking, but that's not practical in restaurant. Yes, by osmosis, the juice tends to be attracted to salt before re-entering the fibers, and this process will take minimum two hours. I stick with the old method, salt after. Should we take the meat out of the fridge early? Yes, I recommend to take the meat out of the fridge one or two hours early, especially if you like the meat cooked rare or blue. If the meat comes from the fridge at five degrees, it may be still a little bit cold inside. In France, the customer asks their meat cooked blue and rare, and they say rare and hot. Let's get organized for cooking now. To cook a good steak, what I need, olive oil, pepper, salt, garlic, butter, thyme, and a thermometer, that's all. Let's start cooking now. 
Okay, firstly, you have to warm up the pan or the skillet for two minutes on high, roughly 200 degrees. When the pan is very hot, you can add the oil. As you can see, my oil is already flavored with the thyme and uh, rosemary. My choice is a good oil with higher smoke point. You can use olive oil, but canola and avocado oil are okay. Don't use the butter, it may burn earlier. When the oil is very hot, but not smoking, gently add the steak in a pan. Always facing the wall to avoid the boiling oil production toward you. Now you can hear the steak sizzling in a hot oil. Now cook your steak on high for about two minutes. After two minutes, turn the steak over. And after two minutes, you can reduce the flame to medium. At the end, use a thermometer to check the temperature inside the steak to reach the cooking of your choice. Just at the end, when the meat is nearly cooked, add the butter, garlic and thyme in the pan. Melt it and baste the meat to add more flavor. Now you can remove the steak from the pan and rest the meat on the board for one to two minutes depending on the size. During this time, the muscle's fiber will relax and allow the juice to redistribute through the cut. During the resting, the beautiful juice is reabsorbed. Without the juice, the meat will taste dry, no matter how premium is the cut. Now you can slice and save the steak with the sauce and vegetable of your choice. And we are ready to pay homage to Louis Camille Maillard. I love that subtle little crunch from an amazing flaking salt sprinkled on the top. I'm checking for you the temperature of the meat now after two minutes of resting. And yeah, we got still 44 on the inside. Beautiful. Now I have to taste, of course. Mmm, that smells delicious. Oh, delicious. Cook. Perfectly for me, rare, crispy outside, and tender and juicy inside. Oh, and this flavor, amazing. I love my steak like that. Oh, I'll try another one. Look at that. Juicy, tender, beautiful. I love my steak cooked like that. Thank you, Mr. Maya. Thank you gourmet friend for watching if you are new and like the video thank you for giving us a like please also subscribe to support my humble channel and click this bell you won't miss my next video thank you for watching and see you next time